Hello, this is Andrew from Cinema Apps, and in this tutorial, we will be playing a sound effect in Swift. So first of all, just create a new single view application here. Go next. We are just going to name it Play Sound. Go next. We will create the project. Now, once the project is created, the first thing we are going to do is add an mp3 file to our supporting files and that's going to be the sound effect we play. So I'll leave a link to the mp3 file in the description if you want to use the same one I'm using. I've just got a Mario Mushroom sound effect here. So it's going to drag that into the support, drag that into the supporting files. And go copy. And now that's done, we are going to go over to our storyboard and we're just going to add a button to play the sound effect. So drag that on to the storyboard. We're going to name our button play sound. And once that's done, in the top right, click on the assistant editor. And once the view split between the storyboard and the view control, hold in the control key and drag it in here. And we are going to create an action of UI button called play sound. So when you click on this button, it's going to run this code here to play the sound. So I'll close that down. Go back to our view controller. And we'll add the code to play the sound. The first thing we need to do is to import AV Foundation. So under Import UI Kit, add Import AV Foundation. And the second thing we need to do, we need to create a variable for our audio player. And that's going to equals AV audio player brackets and this variable is going to be used to set the path to our sound which is mario.mp3 and also play the sound so to play the sound the first thing we need to do is set the sound file name and extension so to do that we'll go there alert sound equals nsurl brackets and you'll see one under here that will have file url with path right here and our path is going to be ns bundle dot main bundle dot path for resource and we are going to choose the one that has name with a string and of type with a string and the name is going to be the actual file name so this is mario without the extension so we can see up here under supporting files it's just named mario and of type will be the extension which is mp3 so you don't need to do any dots just mario and mp3 Now we seem to be getting an error, so let's just see what's going wrong. It looks like, okay, after here, we need to add an exclamation mark after the bracket, after of type, and that will get rid of that error. So the next thing we need to do is preparation of play to sound. And to do that, use AV audio session dot shared instance dot set category and the category will be AV audio session category playback and the error will be nil and then we need to do AV audio session again. Dot shared instance. Dot set active. And active to true. Or lowercase. So be careful if it tries to make it uppercase. You'll have to change it back to lowercase. Otherwise you'll get this error here. And the next step is to actually play the sound. So to do that. First of all, we need to create an error in case it fails to play the sound. So do there error 
own ns error question mark. Then to play it, we need to do audio player. That audio player variable we created earlier equals av audio player. Then brackets contents of URL will be alert sound. So that's the path we made up here to the actual file. The error will be error that we just made. Now to play the sound, what we need to do. All right, just before the error, also add an ampersand and that's all good. So to play the sound, we need to do audio player dot prepare to play the brackets and then audio player dot play. Now, if we run our app and click on the button, we'll hear the Mario sound play. So just loading up the app now. If you click on play sound, you can hear the mushroom sound play. So you can download the source code below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.